So I'm, as I mentioned, guys, I want to get through this. Yeah, this is supposed to be a parenthesis. Okay. So first thing, we have a problem. They're asking us, we're given the radians and the degree. And they're, what, an example of this one is they're asking us what is going to be the arc length. Okay. First thing, this whole problem only, only works when we're dealing with radians. So the first thing I have to do is I have to convert 30 degrees to radians. So the first thing I'm going to do is multiply by my conversion ratio, which I showed you guys at the beginning. right? Um, here, I have 3 over 18, which reduces down to 1 over, one over 6, pi. which is pi over 6. Does everybody follow me with how I converted? Just make sure you're using the right conversion ratio. Now, to find my arc length, all I'm going to do is multiply pi over 6. Oh, shoot. Um, let's call this centimeters. I'm sorry. Typically, in these problems, you're going to have a unit of measurement for your radius. Okay? My apologies. So we have pi over 6 times 7. So now, all I'm simply going to do, I'm sorry, that's 7 centimeters. Sorry about that. I keep on forgetting to put those in when I'm using these problems. So now, all I'm simply going to do in my calculator is do 7 times pi divided by 6. And then I'm going to round to the hundredths, which would give me 3.67. So my arc length is approximately 3.67 centimeters. And that's it. Just make sure when you're doing these problems, if you're finding arc length, if you're finding radius, make sure you know what the unit of measure is. And make sure you're using theta in radians. Okay. All right. Last thing I'm going to go over, and this is pretty quick.